Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll provide you this type of editing tips and tutorials how to edit like that. So this one is the brush type portrait and I'll provide you the brush settings in my video description. So check it out and uh, one thing is that stay safe and wash your hand and don't touch your nose and like uh, eyes uh, randomly and uh, don't go outside, stay home and do work and be aware. For the coronavirus so let's start the tutorial at first go to the file and take a new options or you can go to the home and take a create options from here you can take a artboard which is like a custom artboard like a square shape and hit the ok button you'll get this type of artboard and after that go to the file and place embedded i'll provide you that things that is the paper texture and place it out so after placing it out just turn it off or you can right press and restylize the layer and after that i'll insert the portrait go to the file and place embedded options so here is stock image i downloaded this one from devianna.com and place it out after placing it out press the alter button or shift button or you can make it bigger like this that's good and hit the tick button now after that right press and restylize the layer and right press and convert to smart object and after that go to the adjustment layer and go to the threshold options from that just make it mask and find out the perfect face texture or face thing from here yeah that's good i think this one is good and after that select these things or select these two things make it group actually and make it like right press and convert to smart object yeah that's fine and after that go to the select options and select the color range and select only the black color and hit ok so black color will select and after that ctrl or command j you will get another copy of this so i'm just saving these things main that's fine this one is the background that's why bg for the background and main i'm turning it off and you are getting the transparent things from here and if you need you can just delete all the other stuffs. that's fine and now i'll work with that i'm giving the name the edit or fx so giving the name fx after that i'm taking another layer that is the blank layer and go to the brush options and right press here is the brush 250 brush and i'll provide you that brush link in my video description and you can get the download link in my video description after that you can increase the brush size or you can change the color of the brush make it bigger this type of effects like black or other stuff so i'll take the color from where i'll take the color from the girl go to the file and open up and uh, you can open up that image in a new window and pick up the color like this so i'm taking this color code and copy this one and here hit the ok button and in this panel i'll just implement that things so like this is and the yellow color as well here you can take random color if you need you can do that so it will be amazing and the another color which is like blue which color is perfect which one is uh, the good or perfect to you you can use that and especially for the lips color i'll take that color again this color just because of i want to give the lips color like this so how to do that and get back to this folder and take a new layer go to the here effects options and take new layer and now place the color especially here and right press and create clipping mask only the uh, lips color will be like that and again i'll take another layer and right press and create clipping mask and i'll give the color of the hair which is like a little bit brown type so you can give her like that so like this or you can choose the this type of color it will be the ornament or like ornamental color or the like uh, brown or like this type of color but not mandatory you can use the 
uh, golden color for the hair or black color or dark blue color for the hair naturally we do select this type of things so it will give the extra dimension if you use the multiple color in a hairs so i'll use the darker color you can just place it in a middle that's it if you need you can uh, give the ornamental color from uh, in the eyes so take another like a blank layer and go to the color palette and here that's good i'll take the brush and provide the brush color like this so you can take another color this type of things yeah that's fine adjustment go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient options you can take the gradient from the gradient palette and you can change the color like this and here take the black type color or white type color that's good and hit ok and then change it into radial make it reverse and make the angle zero degree and dither as well and take the scale like this so it'll get nice like that and then again go to the adjustment and go to the levels options and you can adjust the lights and other stuff which will be more important to this type of uh, effects so you're getting like this so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share to your friend and stay at home and do work with uh, your hobbies and other stuff don't go outside this one is the critical situation in around the world so keep safe from the coronavirus and pray for us all so thank you so much thanks for watching my video detail until the next video i am asmr signing up today bye bye